Vladi. Uh, we, are, we are proud as the Italian Trade Commission to be a partner of this uh, important and interesting uh, event of sustainable culture and practice. The Italian tiny industry exports its excellence in the U United States. Uh, this event is uh, organized by the Italian Trade Commission, but uh, specifically uh, by uh, UNIC. UNIC is the Italian uh, uh, Tanning Industry Association and is also the organizer of Linea Pelle that is just downstairs. I, I think you, you went through the, the exhibition and uh, uh, it is the 33rd edition, if, if I'm correct. Uh, here we have uh, Fulvia Bacchi, Fulvia is here, and she's the managing director of uh, UNICH, the association, and the Linea Pelle, but specifically we have uh, a number of great Italian exhibitors and great Italian producers. Okay, I'm paid to support Made in Italy. So in Italy we say never ask the owner of the restaurant if the wine and food is good. Of course, he has to say yes. Uh, but in that case, uh, I can help to say yes, Italian, Italian leather and Italian leather industry is the best in the world. And it's not because I'm paid for saying that or because I'm saying it's because numbers is, is saying that and usually numbers reflect the quality. Sometimes reflect uh, the good trade, the good deal. Sometimes you have big numbers when the products are cheap and you can sell in a big quantity. But this is not the case of Italian leathers. I'm not saying that they're expensive, but I say that it's high quality, very uh, high hand products. Nevertheless, they perform so well all over the world and especially in the, in the U.S. market. Uh, today, I think the subject is even more interesting because we are not only talking about uh, Italian tanning industry that itself speaks as uh, one of the elections of Italy, but we are talking how this industry has been capable throughout the last decades to develop itself. Now we have big issue concerning sustainability, the respect of animal, the respect of environment, uh, we have seen this big wave, this big trend in food first, because food is what we are. So we are very much concerned of the quality of food and we have seen throughout the years in all the stores and supermarkets, the section dedicated to organic food, bigger and bigger, with more attention by consumers. But this attention is uh, quickly uh, moving from food to all the, the things we have around, how we build our house, how we create our, uh, our uh, garments, shoes, and, and products, uh, and uh, how the, the car can pollute. So it's a big issue, and uh, Italian, uh, Italian tanneries are very much concerned about this, this issue again. And that's why uh, today uh, the association, with our supporters, organized this very interesting event to talk specifically about uh, this point. I want to thank you so much for taking part, for dedicating your time to today's uh, event. Uh, as usual, uh, Italy is a, a very nice country. You have a nice reward for staying with us uh, all the seminar, not only for the interesting things you are going to, uh, to, to hear, and, uh, but also for the reception afterwards with an Italian chef offering Italian good food, sustainable, as usual. <laughs> so thank you very much for being here. And I, uh, I've just finished my, my jobs, but I don't talk about sustainability. I don't know anything in details, but Sam Poser is the next speaker and he also the moderator, introducing many other speakers that uh, will, um, will talk about this, uh, this uh, subject this afternoon. Thank you very much again for being here and for visiting Linea Pelle. Grazie.